Good day and welcome to another edition of Cobicypher's Coding Lessons. In this lesson, we will build a tip calculator application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And so if you are ready, let's get started. As you can see, I have already gone ahead to build the UI of our application. Let me remind you that focus over here is on JavaScript. And so let me walk you through the code responsible for the UI. This is for the HTML and this is for the CSS. If you wish to have a similar UI, advise that you pause the video or you adjust the speed of the video and type the code. With that said, now let's move on to the main focus of the video. We will create a function, we will call it calculate step. This function takes two parameters, the bail amount and the tip percentage. Within the function, we will calculate the tip amount by multiplying the bail amount by the tip percentage all divided by 100. Then we compute the total amount by adding the tip amount to the bill amount. Finally, we return an object containing the tip amount and the total amount. Next, we create the update UI function. This function takes the calculated tip amount and the total amount as parameters. It then updates the HTML element with the IDs tip amount and total amount to display the formatted tip amount and total amount respectively. The tip amount and the total amount are formatted as currencies with two decimal places using the to fixed method. Next, we create the handle calculate click function. This function is triggered when the user clicks a button with the ID calculate BTN. It retrieves the bail amount and the tip percentage entered by the user from the input fields with the IDs bail and tip, respectively. It then validates the input to ensure that both values are valid and that the bail amount is greater than zero and the tip percentage is non-negative. If the input field is valid, it calls the calculate tip function to compute the tip amount and the total amount, and then calls the update UI function to update the UI with the calculated amount. Next, we have an event listener that is added to the button element with the ID calculate btn. When this button is clicked, the handle calculate click function is invoked, initiating the calculation and updating of the UI. And that is all we have to do as far as the logic is concerned. It's now time for us to test our project out. First, let's refresh the web page. And then we test the validation. Perfect, that works. Now we can test the other relevant features. That works also. So that is the tip amount and the total amount you have to pay. And so in summary, our project simulates a process you might encounter at a restaurant or when using a tip calculator application. It helps you to understand how to calculate tips and then display them on a web page. That will be all for this lesson. Until next time, stay safe.